Hello and welcome to Best of the Worst, a celebration of the very best of the very bad. We'll be looking at everything from the worst world records to the worst thing to do with cheese, not to mention this, the worst thing to see in the bathroom mirror after a late-night curry. <laughs> So let's welcome our guest this week on David Mitchell's team, comedy actor Robert Webb. <laughs> and with Johnny Bourne tonight, talk show queen Trisha Goddard. One <laughs> worst in which both teams try to pick the worst from a number of options. Once they've made their choices, the audience votes, and the team the audience agrees with gets the points. Tonight we're picking the worst thing to be sold on eBay, and our contenders are a forehead. <laughs> a watering can, a blue peter badge, and a virginity. <laughs> What's wrong with the watering can? It's a particularly special watering can. Is it this signed was signed by uh, somebody. Who signed it? It was used uh, to save the whale, or to try and save the oh, whale, rather yes, than it out and stranded in the Thames. Yeah. The vets actually used a watering can to try and simulate the effect of a whole ocean. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, you'll feel just at home with this tiny trickle. Oh, yeah, sadly, so. sadly, the whale yeah. expired, but the daffodils around its blowhole came up a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what happened in the Thames in 1658? Last time a whale came... They carved up it up and ate it, yeah. is what happened. Absolutely right, yes. Last as uh, Dr Howell, who's a chronicler of the time, wrote, they came up the Thames, as far as Greenwich, a whale of very great lengthy and bigness. <laughs> it was harpooned. <laughs> <laughs> you see, this time, watering can. Then, yes. harpoon. <laughs> Result, the same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I remember the forehead. It was some advertising company. It was, wasn't it? She, yes. no, she offered her forehead for sale to oh, anyone to advertise right. on. What was the name of the company? Goldenpalace.com. Oh, yes. Yeah. I should have known that. Is that tattooed or just written on? No, that's tattooed, no, tattooed. Which is, in fact, only the second most stupid thing a woman's ever done to her forehead. Oh. <laughs> um, I want to just go back the to the virginity, though. Virginity. She sold it for five grand. She's a lesbian. She's a student. She wanted to pay off a student loan. So she put a virginity... On the internet. Was she a lesbian? Yes, so she lesbian. When I was a student, I couldn't give mine away. I know. <laughs> what sort of man would you... bid for a girl's virginity? Did you have to do it on that sofa? Because, I mean, I think that takes the price right down. <laughs> <laughs> I think that makes a big difference. Do you know who the successful bidder was? Was it you? <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was actually a BT engineer. First time a BT engineer came when he said he would. <laughs> <laughs> But what do you think, Trish? You deal with this shit every day. <laughs> what would your punters say about this? Would they say that's offensive and everyone would shout and, and hit each other? No, we'd have a deep and meaningful debate. And then the sovereigns would fly. Put <laughs> <laughs> around me, <meets> head. <laughs> <laughs> what else did uh, Rosie Reed put on her advert? She had another, a little promise in there. Oh, she'd make it worth their while or something? Or? In a way, yeah. She said, we'll bung in a free massage if you're any good. <laughs> Is that what she knows? Is how would she, she know how good they are? Yeah, they're the first one. Before, yeah. Maybe they were kind to her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't mention kindness. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Kindness is a sad thing to mention. Yeah, it really was, wasn't <laughs> the it? The man with the £5,000 being kind. Yeah. <laughs> Every, suddenly, everyone's a victim and we're all alone in the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, no. What would have happened? Did she have a say in it? I mean, what would have happened if a bloke, say, bought that for his dog? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. She would, uh... Oh, imagine that. Imagine she sold it and suddenly here she goes, I'll be there. And suddenly you the hooves up the stairs and the... In you come, yeah. Lionel. <laughs> a deal's a deal. Still straw hat, the donkey comes so, in. Yeah. <laughs> Just looks at her. I just wonder if the donkey would have got the massage. That's all I'm on it. <laughs> Rosie wasn't the only one to sell her virginity on eBay. There was also David Vardy. Oh, dear. Oh. Who was he, he hoping he would win the He sold it in exchange for lessons telling her to sit on a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Who was he hoping would win the bid? I don't know, but it looks like he can't sit down now. Yeah. <laughs> was it someone like Davina McCall or...? or, or it was some te he, telly personality, wasn't it? He didn't it? say... He merely said, a really nice woman. <laughs> Interestingly, David Vardy put a reserve price on his virginity of 6,000 quid. Oh. Would you stretch to that, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I wouldn't. No, not when I can do it to myself for free. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
I've got to tell you, you're bloody good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the Blue Peter badge. Um, yes. This was sold. This is a, a terrible thing to sell on eBay because, Outrage. because of course, it gets you discount into certain attractions around the place. Like Do you know those attractions are? I think it seems like um, uh, uh, just things. I think, <laughs> I think uh, things that children enjoy. Sure, you can get into the cutty sock on a discount. Yeah, I bet you can. <laughs> you get discount passes to that, and right. you get you discounts to museums and stuff like that. But, but aren't there? Weren't there Blue Peter badges that were gold? Do you know what you've got a gold beef for bravery? Badge? More specifically, for saving a life. Yes. Or for five ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, teams, uh, which one gets your vote, Johnny and Trisha? See, I think morally, morally, the Blue Peter badge is pretty shameful. <laughs> I know what you're saying there. You're saying that the Blue Peter badge, that's a sail of hope, isn't it? It is, yes. <laughs> that's, a, that's a sort of betrayal of your former self. Exactly what I am uh, saying. I'll go yeah. with you on this. Blue Peter badge Blue being Peter a really badge. Blue worst Peter thing badge. ever sold on eBay. Let's all know. David and Robert, what are you going to pick? I think the, the virginity. Really? Uh, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's a really... I mean, I will do most things for money. <laughs> but I, I think she's cheap. You've got, you're meeting two veg out for comedy yeah. and you're saying she's cheap. Exactly. Well, yeah. I'm going to go with that now. Yeah. OK, so, to score your points, the audience needs to agree with you, so let's see what they say. Vote now. So, I can tell you the worst thing to be sold on eBay is the Blue Peter badge. Yes. Oh, yes. Time now for the best of the worst bottom five. This week, a rundown of the very worst world records. Ooh. Each time we show the teams a photo, they have to guess what ludicrous record it represents. At number five, what's this record? It, it looks... It's a it looks stupid like a, domino, a domino topple, topple. thing. Yeah. yeah. What we're looking at there is, is nearly four million dominoes Ooh. there. What went oh. wrong? I think a mouse came in and toppled oh, it. Yeah. No, a cat. Some animal got into this was, huge right, gymnasium right. they're in and just toppled one, and that was it. They came that, in and it all done. Well, that means life. that the mouse or cat is the, is the record holder. Yes, surely. <laughs> what I like about it, though, is the fact that if a mouse got all his mates in, they all had a right good night. <laughs> it's interesting you subscribe to the theory that mice actually have friends. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think... I've seen them on the tube. I don't think they get on at all. <laughs> I think they're loners. I think they're difficult. They Mavericks. <laughs> Do you think mice are weird loners? I think mice are weird loners, yeah. Um, the animal, the freak animal that caused the destruction didn't win the record because they have strategic gaps in the dominoes, which are only filled in at the very last minute. But what Must was the have won the mouse record, though. <laughs> yes! <laughs> 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 mice, mice have terrible difficulty <laughs> setting those things up. <laughs> um, <laughs> partly because they're, it's massive for a mouse. It's like a, it's like a mattress. <laughs> and also, as we've already discussed, they're not team players. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, what did go wrong was a sparrow flew into ah, one of the dominoes, knocking over 23,000. The record attempt was organised as part of Domino Day, one of the activities in Get a Life Week. <laughs> <laughs> um, at number four in the world's worst records list, what's this one? Is, is she a he or a she or a Vivian that? Wheeler is the name of the oh. person. Who's getting off on that? Is what I want to say. <laughs> That's what I call niche. <laughs> Some sort of record for the facial hair. Yeah, most ever be bearded, bearded lady, bearded I guess. Lady. The lady with the longest beard. It's either that or it's man in a dress for the longest amount of time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. It is Vivian Wheeler of Illinois who holds the record for the longest female beard. Wow. Makes you wonder how hairy her balls are. <laughs> <laughs> At number three in the world's worst records, what's this one? Cruelest attempt to make a yellow golf ball feel bad and isolated. <laughs> <laughs> what we can't see is if there's a if it's skewer what? going through them and it is a very strange kebab. No. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the record number, presumably, of golf balls balanced on each other, I would say. Um, yes, this oh. is the record for golf ball stacking. Yeah. Nine, oh, held by Don Affey of Ohio. Off. When asked why he didn't go for ten, he replied, ten, are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> At number two, what record does this man hold? Oh, it's got to be most piercings, surely. Is he actually trying to grow a pair of glasses out of his own skull? <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming it's a piercing thing, unless it's his kind of having his appendix out while still awake the wrong way up. <laughs> <laughs> this guy uh, earlier who sold his virginity, and this is how it went. <laughs> <laughs> Has he got pierced buttocks? Literally, like a, just like a, 
bat literally going through oh. one side, like a bit of eyebrow bolts, just a like bolt. a great, like a bike lock. <laughs> He's got a bike lock through his ass. <laughs> There's a record for the number of body piercings oh. held by well, Frenchman that's Matt oh. Robeson. Oh. Oh. Robeson narrowly beat the previous record holder uh, for metal body piercings, who was so disappointed he shot himself, <gasps> thereby equaling the record. <laughs> And at number one, what record did this chicken hold? Is it sort of most glassy stare? <laughs> most surprised after receiving shocking news. <laughs> I think it's the chicken that survived the longest after having its head chopped off. You're absolutely right. Here it is. <laughs> this is Mike, the headless chicken, who holds the record for being the longest surviving headless chicken. In Colorado in 1945, Mike had his head cut off, but he survived for 18 oh, months. Oh, he did. 18 <laughs> months, yes. <laughs> How did the farmer keep him alive? By lying. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> so you have to sort of poke grain in the hole. Yeah, absolutely right, yes, by feeding him directly into the gullet with an eyedropper. Which is oh, exactly how David Beckham true, feeds Victoria. He's got no <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a look at the scores, and the worst team at the moment is David and Robert, but still plenty to play for in part two. See you in a minute. best of the worst and it's time to ask which ends the worst two video clips just one question which is going to end in the worst way the first clip is from Gloucestershire and it's this countryside it's lovely, isn't it? uh oh should I rewind a bit there to indicate how badly this could go a good indication is just to see the guy in charge <laughs> <laughs> Look, okay, it's nice scenery, something's happening. Let's see the guy in charge. Uh-oh! <laughs> what are they running? Is that is that a cheese. ball? Cheese! People do that with cheese, don't yes. they? They roll it away and run after it. Is what happens is they chase the cheese down to the bottom of the hill and then it stops and then they all have a chat about what the hell they're doing with their lives. <laughs> <laughs> there might be, a, like, an electric fence, just, you know... <laughs> shot, and they all they crash into it yeah, in waves. Motorway. And then, because of the pressure, the ones at the front start to cook. Yeah. <laughs> with, and the cheese sort of melts onto them. Yeah. And then the ones at the back, actually, <laughs> it smells delicious. <laughs> And then, and then they can't control themselves. And, and it turns into a sort of cannibalistic frenzy. <laughs> anyway, any idea why they do it? Um, some ancient tradition, probably. It's to do with their god. So, it is. It's a fertility ritual. Fertility? Yeah, basically, if you see any man doing this, don't mate with him. <laughs> <laughs> what did, uh, so what... men and cheese equals fertility? Yes. Well, that's... that's, that's I'd say not. <laughs> but then I'm a woman. Fancy some cheese, love. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we whip back to mine for an evening of cheese? <laughs> oh, have haven't... you seen my cheese ball? Incidentally, <laughs> 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 uh, here's last year's winner. <laughs> Crazy loner. <laughs> Only one way to kill a mouse is it? You ain't kill mice. No. Only one way to, so I tell my son. Only one way to kill a mouse, son. Fire. <laughs> and you look at him like that. <laughs> like you've seen some bloody things. <laughs> Fire, son. How old's your boy? It's two. <laughs> We should say for children at home, please don't set fire to any nice little mouse. No, no, there no. are actually thousands of ways of killing mice. You can no. poison them, <laughs> drown them, just smack them. <laughs> three, three really good ways is the Navy way, the Army way, or the RAF way. That's true. My well, dad's using the army. This is, this is sending the army. Look, sending the Navy. Do you want to hear wisdom that my father gave me? You kill him the Army way, you bury him alive. <laughs> Navy way, down the loo. Yeah. The yeah. RAF way, out a car door at speed. <laughs> <laughs> Three ways to go much. <laughs> OK, uh, here is the second clip. It's from Montana and it involves a black bear. Tooling up. Oh. Bear in tree. Hello, a ladder. Small crowd, pathetically small crowd. <laughs> What gets me here, yeah? yeah? This guy's getting tooled up here, yeah, and he looks like he knows what he's doing. You've got a bear 
in a tree, a fire engine. The size of this crowd is pathetic. It's like, <laughs> you do that in Britain, yeah? A bear in a tree about to get gunned down. <laughs> Define <laughs> crowd pleaser. <laughs> you. Maybe who it who isn't at ringside uh, for an event like that? Evidently, this looks like every day, isn't it? Another bear uh, up there, yeah. Dave. <laughs> No, well, you know, there was probably, you know, a leopard on roller skates on the other side of town. It's <laughs> <laughs> a busy yes, day. But that bear looks so sweet. Yeah, you say it's that. It's not footage from Winnie the Pooh, the live-action movie. <laughs> it's not. No, it's not. Obviously. I definitely that's that's not. I've read all of Winnie the Pooh, and he doesn't get no. shot with a tranquilizer gun. <laughs> <laughs> never even, the one. even in the Disney bastardization. No. <laughs> Where Christopher Robin's dad grabbed his yeah. piece. <laughs> get out of the way, Robin! <laughs> oh, as he dragged his soul off his leg, I'm going to get me some bear. <laughs> no, Tigger! It's happening, it's going yeah. down. <laughs> that is happening. That bear will not live, son. Sick of it, windy. Get stuck up the tree. I've already yes, killed a donkey. Yeah. <laughs> right now it's decision time, it's which ends the worst, so which of these two clips is going to end the worst? The, the bear one. I think the bear one's we're the gonna worst. Go, we're going to go obvious. You're going to go bear. Bears, yeah. are, bears are more likely to maul you than cheeses. <laughs> Look, the point about this is, you've got a bear in a tree if they shoot and a it gun. With a, yeah, if they shoot it with a dart... It just has potential, doesn't it? <laughs> You're going to go for the bear as well? I think I'm going to go for the bear. I mean, we could both be wrong if it turns out that what the other guys are running down is a huge grassy back dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or a cliff. It's, it, or a cliff. Oh, that would be, oh, that would be yes. great. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Do you know, I'd enjoy it even if there weren't crocodiles in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look, uh, starting with this one. <laughs> what? Ouch! Oh. 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 It comes up again. Look at the, <laughs> look at the technique. <laughs> And then they chuck him over the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the race, the winner is presented with his prize, the cheese, which is then fed to him via a tube by a nurse. <laughs> um, anyway, so did something worse happen with the bear? Oh! Oh! There we go! Again, again, again! <laughs> Do you know what? There's an oh. advert that comes on during the day for that bear cruelty thing, yeah, but they show nothing in the lead. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You're so Look, cruel, uh, that how many poor times bear! I've been going to zoos not... for years, yeah, I've never seen anything. <laughs> <laughs> Suppose he sprained his wrist or something. Poor. No, sorry, he was thoroughly sedated. He won't... <laughs> That's the great thing. He won't know. You can get him back up there and do it for hours. What he do you won't mean? know. <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't that, for us. that was his ninth go. <laughs> Can we see it again? Oh, Quick, let's have a look at it. Nothing like... Look. Oh! <laughs> I've got to say, though, whoever yeah. put that Wait. trampoline there... Good lad. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think they put up the tree next? <laughs> How do you follow the bear? A donkey yeah. with a virgin on the back. Yeah. <laughs> that would be my guess. Um, do you have a pet? I do. A cat or a pet dog? Or? I've got a pet dog. Pet, pet dog? dog? Yeah, I've got a pet dog. So how would you feel if your dog was up a tree and it got shot and it bounced on a trampoline and it went splat on the ground? I think he'd see the funny side. <laughs> <laughs> I think, at the time, I think he would. Incidentally, the bear was fine. Uh. <laughs> so the cheese rolling race ended the worst on the grounds that more dumb animals were carted off afterwards. <laughs> and no, more no, no, the bear bones. thing ended the worst. That is like every year. He's you fine. Can... Those people were fine, weren't they? You're not saying that... That, that wasn't snuff footage, was it? Carnage. <laughs> How it was many of those people are now dead? It was carnage. That we were laughing at. More broken bones in But the, they chose uh, the to do rolling. that. They decided... Well, the bear chose to go up the tree. He's defying gravity. And he clearly <laughs> loves the trampoline. <laughs> so, at the end of that round, the points go to nobody. All to play for now as we turn to the wall of worst. Our final quickfire round. So fingers on buzzers and we start with worst sighting. What explanation for this famous picture has recently come to light? Uh, it's a sighting of the disappearing tail of the famous Loch Ness massive cat. 
no, no, Trish knows. You know, what was the explanation? It would, they said in those days they were circuses. This is the right, this still, we still have it. And Nessie the elephant used to, was swimming, and they think it's an <laughs> elephant's trunk as it did the breaststroke or whatever they You're did. absolutely right, yes. This does go some way to explaining uh, another photograph taken of Nessie eating a bun. <laughs> <laughs> I think if there's an elephant living in that lake, that that counts. As a <laughs> <laughs> I think Fine, it does. You know, they just say no. It's just it's just an underwater <laughs> elephant. Don't ignore it. <laughs> Worst present. When Michael Jackson visited Harrods, what did Muhammad Al Fayed give him? <laughs> a boy. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> you want to be presented as a gift. <laughs> take it, Michael. Take any of the boys. <laughs> any of the fucking boys. <laughs> fucking take them. Actually, there, was, there, was quite, there was quite a gap before you said boy. And that was a gap not while you were thinking that up, but while we were all thinking. Should we say boy? someone going to say boy? boy? Yeah. <laughs> I just have to, I've just got to say at this stage that Michael Jackson was found not guilty. Anyway, so what did Mohammed Al-Fayed Tell me something they don't know. He gave him a scrapbook of baby pictures. <laughs> you thought mine was bad? <laughs> <laughs> Mohammed Al-Fayed bought Harrods in 1985. The store's motto is Omnia Omnibus Ubique. All things for all people <laughs> everywhere. Of course, of course. Except a passportus. <laughs> <laughs> Worst golf slang. Uh, what is a Sally Gunnell? <gasps> Johnny. It's not pretty to look at, but it's a good runner. <laughs> so you're right. Yep. Really? It is, yeah. Golf club members resent being labelled as misogynistic, pointing out that they're also homophobic and racist. <laughs> Worst will. To whom has David Pizer of Arizona left $10 million in his will? Johnny. Just a, a dog. A dog, yeah. No, he's left it to himself. There you are. He wants to be cryogenically <laughs> frozen uh, when he dies, and when he's revived, he reckons that Jesus. the interest earned will have made him the richest man in the world. God, that's oh, brilliant. Dear, it's a brilliant dear. thing to do. You leave all your money to yourself. Ten million dollars. <laughs> genius. There are 100 human bodies in the cold storage facility at the cryogenic Ooh. place. 99 paying customers and one bloke from work experience who fell in last summer. <laughs> <laughs> Worst flat? What's unusual about Norma and Dennis Nellem's flat in Lancashire? Uh, yes. It's got no, no roof or walls. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Um, it's all done sort of like the Palace of Versailles. You're absolutely right. Oh, yes. There it is. <laughs> Uh, the flat has been compared to Louis XIV's palace at Versailles, though in fact it's actually better because it's got a widescreen TV. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of that round, let's take a look at the final scores. This week's winners are Johnny and Trisha, but this week's worst team is David and Robert. <laughs> Our thanks then to Johnny and Trisha, David and Robert, and there's just time for a look at this. The worst thing to see out of the restaurant window is you finish off your goose liver pate. <laughs> You've been watching Best of the Worst. Good night. Well, for exclusive outtakes from the Best of the Worst, text MOBILE to 83188 to be sent a link to the Channel 4 mobile site. Next tonight, Charlotte Church goes undercover. <laughs>